our photo shoot today is going to occur at the same place where we got our maternity photos taken. Everybody and good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Look at this little pumpkin head. Look at yourself. Look at yourself. We are on our way to get some photos taken. Yay! Photos. Your three-month milestone photos. I'm so excited. We already got some done in his room, and. Some of them are so cute. We have a little clip that I'm gonna play of that too, so we can we can insert it now if you want. Okay. Our photo shoot today is going to occur the same place where we got our maternity photos taken. That is pretty cool. It was a really cute place. Um, it had some like older, it's the historical society in Bridgeport. Yes. So it's like a cute little village and I don't know if they have it decorated for Halloween. I kind of hoping, like I kind of hope they do. I wonder if they decorate it for Christmas too. That would be cool. I don't know. Because we got to think about Christmas photos coming up. Will he get Christmas milestone photos? <sighs> no, not milestone photos, well, we but we might be able to take a couple of Christmas photos so people can have a Christmas picture. I of hope him. he's okay with Santa Claus. Oh, well, we'll see, huh? Yeah. But he fell asleep, so I hope he's not too crabby when he wakes up. He's usually not, but I don't know. There, I'm, I'm really excited. It's raining a little bit, but not too bad where we have to cancel. Plus, there's areas where we can like be covered, so we're just gonna wing it and see how it goes, right? It's a little chilly for photo shoot. So All right. you have to be, I mean, I'm colder just because I don't have like anything on. We got Harrison uh -huh. doubled up. He's got tons of blankets with him. Yeah. So, I mean, we're being like we're really. We're blocking the wind. Yeah. We're being so. really safe. Oh, that's so cute. Grandma's going to love it. She really is. She doesn't know either. No, she doesn't. I mean, this is a surprise. Yeah. Yeah. The pants had um, ghosts on them, but. I thought the jeans might be a little yeah better. better. For They'd this. be warmer. Yeah, yeah, they're pretty sure. awesome. Hi. Hello. What you doing? I'm refilling our cherry Dr. Pepper. You know, we've been getting really good at keeping things stocked. Yeah. And it. And not overstocking. And not overstocking. I really like that. Yeah. We've and. We've also been doing good at limiting ourselves. Oh yeah, like we used to probably go through because there's two of us, mm -hmm. and then I'd sometimes I take some to work. So we used to probably go through a 12 pack, and I'd say a week, maybe a little bit longer. I think the last time we got soda was three, four weeks ago. Yeah, we we definitely have cut back. Yeah, and I'm pretty happy about that I, because there's a lot of sugar in. Goal for me, which I don't drink a lot. Like I'll drink half a can and probably. Well, that's why we've been sharing a can lately, yeah. too. But a goal for me is when Lent comes around. Yeah. I would like to maybe, mm. if you're on board with this, oh. give up soda completely. <coughs> for how long? For the 40 days. Oh, dear. Okay. As like a household kind of thing. So isn't Lent better served by making individual goals and meeting those individual goals? Yes, but what would you do? I would allow you to give up soda. Oh, thanks. So my goal is not to push it on you. <laughs> That's a good goal. It is. 
it is an individual goal. <laughs> I don't do something every year, but. Um, so what do you got going on over here? I'm having some cereal. What kind? For lunch. Honey bunches of oats. Honey bunches of oats. People are going to be like, why is all this stuff on your stove? That's really gross. Well, we are in the process of cleaning because our internet is out. We don't even know if we're going to be able to upload this video or how we're going to upload it. But I'm going to leave you alone so you can eat that. Thank you. So, wait, what did the food have to do with the internet? And we had to move a bunch of stuff and clean a bunch of stuff real quick. So the guy could get to the... Yes. Plus we did the living room clean, so we're... Still in the process of cleaning the kitchen. Oh gosh, yeah, we yeah. Have, we have gotten some of the stuff under We've control. made some improvements, yeah. I will tell you that. Oh look, there's me. <laughs> that computer has been sitting there for a while. We have stuff for Halloween. We do, Halloween -y bag. Not any of the stuff that I wanted to get for it, but it's just some clothing <clears throat> articles for now. Yeah. Until I get the accessories. So quick shout out to all of our Patreons. I know that we have, oh, what can I see? Hang on. Ah. There we go. We are in the process of still changing um, all of our Patreon rewards, so um, we haven't been able to do the shout outs, but we are very thankful for you all. There are many other people. These are just the. <clears throat> okay, so let me just. Let me fix that. So, Patreon, it's a monthly service where you can donate to the channel. Yeah. However, donations can come in any size, and they start at a dollar. Um, certain tiers come with certain things, and we realize that since we are so busy and everything's so sporadic with the baby, we have to change some of our tiers up. But we are going to be looking at changing things up to do um, monthly chats. Uh, we're going to add on a lot of new stuff that's a little more personable because... Um, and then like screenshots at the end of the vlogs and stuff like that because it's a lot easier to enter in a screenshot than it is to keep mentioning Patreon because, you know, we don't want to make people feel bad because they're not a Patreon, but we also want to make people feel great because they are. It's like a, it's a catch. It's, it's really is a catch 22, you know, to try and find that balance. So anyway, thank you to all the Patreon members. Um, and thank you to everyone who continues to like, comment, and share our videos because, also, also an important factor. I was hoping that Harrison was still in his seat. He was looking so cute this morning, but now he's just playing on the ground and... In his seat? Yeah, his little... Not his seat, I'm sorry. His, um, rocker. No, I know what you meant. Um... What, what are we saying? Nothing. I just... I only put him in there briefly so I didn't strap him in. <laughs> he was, like, hanging over the edge when I came back. Oh, his so. feet? Yeah. I was standing here though, so I was looking at him with that, so I knew he wasn't going to move, but we are about to pass um, pass our rockaroos on for a little while um, because he is almost at that weight limit. Uh, they go up to 25 pounds, which is pretty much the norm. So he's about halfway there. When he starts to stand <clears throat> up on his own, then we have to really... Not for a minute. So, okay, there is a weight limit, but there's also when the child can sit up. So if you're not familiar with any of the rockers, you know, from Four Moms, or even the rock or the rock and play, you know, like, you can keep the baby in there till, you know, he or she is 25 pounds, but if they start sitting up in there and they can, like, figure out a way to get out, then that becomes, what's the matter? I don't want them to hear me chew. Oh, I don't think they can. Some people don't like it, though. Oh, well, and that becomes a little bit of a problem, though, because we could be sleeping at night, and it doesn't matter if he has his outlet sock on. Um, he could be trying to climb out of that rock and play and, like, fall out. So, I mean, that's pretty scary. Whew. So this is my current situation. The message reads, about 30 minutes remaining. I am pretty sure I've already been sitting here for about 30 minutes. Now... <laughs> I didn't expect that this would happen with this computer. So let me be clear a little bit. Whoo, wow. Well, that is a face that was made for radio. Um, so I really, really, really budgeted for my MacBook Pro. I needed it for school. It works for the vlogs, anything that we're doing, um, like photo related, it's amazing. 
but whenever there are updates, and I know this has to do with our internet, and I'll get to that in a second, but it just seems like whenever there's an update, it takes way longer than it says it's going to. And I know that we live in this world where it's like all about instant gratification, like I totally get that, and I know that I'm, I'm guilty of that, but I just wish these computer times would reflect a little bit of accuracy. You know, if it's going to take an hour, tell me that. You know, then I'll go do something else. 30 minutes isn't too bad. I can pick up my iPad. I can, you know, do some reading. I can do something. But when I turn the computer back on or turn the screen back on and see that it's still going to take, well, it's gone down a minute now, 29 more minutes after a half an hour has passed, it gets kind of irritating. I can't be the only one. It's the same thing for those of you who are on YouTube or if you've ever uploaded a YouTube video before. There's a little progress bar like once you put the video all together and you upload it to YouTube. <laughs> and it'll tell you like, oh, 24 minutes until your video is up. You know, um, and then it'll, eight minutes later it'll say 22 minutes before your video is up. The time just never reflects it. It's a really strange thing to me and I wish, I wish I just knew why. So, with that being said, to give you an update on our internet, again, it seems like this should be like a segment. Like, Tiffin carries internet issues! Like, I mean, I should probably make like some cool little intro. You know, black and white, maybe show the back of the internet box or whatever. <laughs> internet box. Um, so, a gentleman came today, he was a supervisor of the guy who came out just a couple days ago. And we were starting to have trouble with our internet last night. So he came over and I feel like he kind of gave us this answer that no one told us before. And it seemed like it was one of those, I don't know what to tell these people, so I'm just going to tell them this kind of answer. So I do understand a little bit about like technology and stuff. And if you have something really old that runs off of Wi-Fi. It probably has an old Wi-Fi card. Like, I get that. However, let me just tell you what he said before I keep going into this rant. So, we are paying for what's called something called gig service because it's supposed to give us 1,000 megabits per second download speed and uh, it's 35 megabits per second upload speed. So they call it 1,000 down, 40. They say 35 up, but it's really 40 up for most people, and it is for us. So thankfully, we're getting the upload speed. So our videos at night are taking no more than 10 minutes to upload, and in some cases, they take five minutes, which is great. That's worth getting this. But then at the end, the guy says, well, it turns out you don't have anything in your house that's capable of 1,000 megabits per second download. Now, I know what that means, but I also know that our MacBooks are capable of that. Now, sure, our Roku might not be capable of that, and my older-than-dirt cell phone might not be capable of that. I get that. But I feel like it was kind of like this canned response because he was ready to go because he couldn't do anything else for us. Added on to that, we still cannot get our Google Home device to pair with our router. Now I realize these are all the the memes for the first world problems, but that Google device was pretty cool because you know, I could say, you know, hey Google, your Google Home isn't set up yet. <laughs> um anyway, I could ask Google something like about F Freud or something like that, like something really quick that I needed to know. And Google most of the time was able to tell me, so it was pretty cool. Sure, I could have looked it up, but if I'm typing, if I'm doing something else, it's just nice to have that Google Home, like, working. What you looking for? Nothing, I'm just... Uh, His passy? I'm make sure that you didn't get me walking by. Oh, no, I didn't. Okay. Why? You got your cream-colored shorts on? I do. Hi, baby boy! Hi, baby boy! When I went live for a few minutes earlier in uh -huh. the uh, campground, everybody was listening to the spiel, and then... Um, I think it was Gina said, okay, can we see Harrison now? <laughs> and they're like, oh, he's not here. Yeah, yeah, I told him. So, um, anyway, to make an extremely long story short, uh, about four minutes now that I've been talking about the internet, our internet is still the same as when the guy 
arrived um, speed-wise, but he was able to fix like some of the intermittent, intermittent issues we were having. So hopefully we will be able to put this vlog up today or tomorrow. Yeah. Um, but it could possibly be a little bit late, so I'm just going to apologize for that. Is that hurting? Yeah, he's kind of yanking. Harrison's grip has tightened uh, over in the corner cafe. Yes. And by grip, I mean his his grip. His grip yeah. has tightened. He's just so cute, though. Um, do you see what your daughter is doing? Yeah. She fits up in there now. How? I don't know, but it was a treat to watch her get in there. So I'm going to turn this real quick and show you guys. Sorry that this segment has been so long. But... Look at Katniss. Now that's Prim's spot in there. I mean, Rue goes in there sometimes, but it's mostly a primmy spot. It's pretty thin to get up in there, but once you're in there, it's a little bit bigger because there's just that lip right there. Oh, oh, she's getting out. This is perfect. How? I don't know. Oh, oof. You all right, boo? <laughs> anyway, she made it up in there, but she definitely hit some of that junk in her trunk on her way in. The poor thing. Yeah. <laughs> She's still lovable. Oh, we did find a mirror for Harrison, by the way, for those of you asking. Uh, we ended up using our mirror from the bathroom because we yeah. really weren't using it. It works out pretty perfectly right now. We're still going to look for one of those. Um, we're hoping that when they do the back-to-school sale again, uh, usually they do them like twice a year, they have those like long mirrors. Where would we put it, though? I know, we don't have a place for it now that we changed it, but it could oh. still go right there. Yeah, that's... By the time we get one, it's going to be pointless. You think so? Yeah. So, Carrie just reminded me that we might not be getting one of those long mirrors anymore. Um, I forgot that since we changed the living room around, we were going to put it right here, if you can see where I was pointing. But now that's kind of... This isn't always here, but usually his um, activity center is there, and so is his uh, bouncer or swing. Um, I suppose when he gets a little bit older, though, he won't be using the activity center. So maybe we'll just wait a little while to get it. Yeah. But if, I know that a lot of you guys have, um, you know, teenage uh, kids or kids going to college. Those long mirrors that you can get to put on the back of your door, they're like five bucks during those back to school sales. Mm -hmm. Now, sure, the outside, the mirror part is probably what you're paying for. The outside is just crap. They usually only make them in like a black or an ivory. They are like plastic. If you ding them, they are going to crack. You know, I mean, you got to be really, really careful with them. Come on, get off the computer. Come up here. But, um, best time to go get one of those mirrors, and they have them everywhere. Like, they sell them at Target, they sell them at Meijer, Walmart, everywhere, um, to get those. So, just a little tip from our family to yours. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Today was bath day, and this is the aftermath. This towel is soaking wet. And the towel on the floor is pretty wet, too. It's hard to tell. It's hard to tell for both of these towels. But, let me close this, and I will show you. Look at how much water is in there. I mean, it's so heavy. Check this out. The towel got it. I got it. All over myself. But I wouldn't change it for the world. Little man loves his bath. He kicks the water constantly. It is so adorable. Um, besides that, something else that I did today is on my way to... Oh, sorry about the uh, blurriness there. On the way to my mom's, uh, we had dinner. I went and got some supplies for Harrison's Halloween costume. Um, Walmart had everything that I needed, so I'm going to scramble for tomorrow and Tuesday 
to make sure it's done on Wednesday so you guys can see his cute little outfit. And hopefully if I have time, our matching outfits. Huh, babe? Oh, Harrison's sleeping. Man, I can't control what I'm doing. Wait, what did you say? I said, matching outfits. I said hopefully we'll have matching outfits. Is it really dark in here? No, it's good. I might be able to fix it. You ready? How do I look? It was um, a dark and spooky night when we entered. Are you afraid of the dark? Avenue. We drove down, slowing down the speeds less than 35 miles per hour. We hear a noise. Don't wake him up. We don't want to wake the baby. So we cover his ears. We hear another noise. I could really keep doing this all night. If anybody would like a spooky story read by Tiff on Halloween night, let me know in the comments down below. I'll find the spookiest story of them all. Hashtag spooky. Hashtag spooky. Anyway, what were you saying now? About um, the matching costumes? Yeah, hopefully I have time to make them. Yeah, hopefully because I'm going to be really sad if I don't get to wear that. Actually, I understand that we... Well, I shouldn't say matching. I should say coordinating. Yes, coordinating. Coordinate. Gotta yes. coordinate. Mm -hmm. That's a that's a very, very hard um, pop culture reference to get. I have no idea what it is. Yeah, I'll tell you later. Yeah. But I was really nervous. Yeah? Let me get the stand so I can tell you this. Okay. I'll be right back. So I'm going to get those materials today. Oh, yeah. I was by myself with Harrison. So I wasn't by myself, but I only had Harrison and Tiffany stayed home to do her homework because with the cable guy coming over and everything that's been going on, she needed to get caught up. So it gave her the perfect opportunity to do this. Did. I was really nervous going to Walmart by myself. Like carrying him in and stuff? I, yes. Did you put him in a cart? I did. Okay. I put him inside the cart, not on top of the cart. Right. You put, yeah, him, in you put him in the cart because yeah, yeah, okay. you don't want him like, you don't want the cart to topple over. Right. But I don't carry a purse anymore. And I wasn't going to just carry my wallet in because I'm afraid that I'm going to leave it somewhere. So I took the whole diaper bag, which is a backpack on my back. And living in, re like growing up in retail, I've always been taught, you know, watch out for the people with the backpacks. They're a little suspicious, you know, they might sure. stuff something in there. Yeah. So I was afraid that I was going to get to the front of Walmart at the greeter and they were going to tell me, ma'am, you have to put your backpack in your car. Did he? No. Oh, did he even <laughs> no. anything? And I said, hello. <laughs> you just walked right by. Yeah, I just walked right by. But I was so nervous that that was going to happen to me. And then I was nervous that every like employee was going to stare at me and like watch me from around the corner to see if I was throwing stuff in my backpack. I don't know why. I'm not guilty. I'm not going to steal anything, but right. I was just nervous. So. Well, and I don't think that people, I like to really think that people are inherently good. Mm -hmm. So I wonder if people get worried because of how uh, hairbrained and the mom brain thing that moms have. Oh, well, maybe. So they pick something up and they're like, oop, I'm going to just put this away real quick. Mm -hmm. So they buy stuff and put it away like yeah um i i stole something from target once it was not on purpose it was an accident okay i was trying on hats i wanted to buy a new winter hat and i put it on my head with the tag with everything walked around the store grabbed a ton of other stuff this hat was six dollars and 83 cents uh -huh. it was like on sale it was was it on clearance must have been I don't know if it was or not, but it wasn't, it's that, that hat that I really like, that really thin blue and kind of the burgundy, the striped hat. Oh. Remember that it's really thin. Do you still thin. have that? Yeah, I still have that. Okay. It. So anyway, I think that people don't, I like to think that if people take something, I know there are people who do it, but it's, mm -hmm. it's definitely by accident. So I got home and I felt so terrible. I called Target and I was like 25 minutes away from Target and I said, I was like, oh my God, I just realized I didn't pay for this hat. And they're like, what? I'm like, I stole a hat from there. 
what? Like they couldn't believe I was calling back to tell them I stole the hat. Right. You know, and I'm insisting on trying to pay for this, like somehow over the phone. Mm -hmm. I'm like, what can I do? Can I buy something from Target.com? And you just, I didn't need that karma. At that point in my life, I did not need that karma, like that bad karma. Right. So Target ended up getting my address all along. I thought they were going to send me like some sort of invoice or a bill that I could just pay online. They sent me a gift card for $25 for being honest about stealing something from their store. What? Yeah. That's, That's nuts. Right, because I think, and maybe it's maybe- Did you ever end up paying for the hat? No. Wow. I made money off the hat. And I love the hat so much, but every time I wear it, I think about that. And I think mm -hmm. that other people feel like Target, that people are inherently good and they're not going to try and take something, you know? Mm -hmm. They just, sometimes things happen. So maybe right. that's what you were thinking, you know, because you've admitted before that you've been a little bit harebrained lately with Harrison. Oh, yeah. So maybe you were just, you know, a little over paranoid that if you picked something up, you might put it in your bag. Maybe. But on the other hand, you know, like I've grown up in retail. Sure, it's completely and, different. And these people who work in retail, they see this stuff every day. Oh, so sure. they kind of know, like some indicators on what to look for if they're gonna see a shoplifter. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So you can look for the big bags, the baggy clothes. Sometimes people will push in a um, a car seat with the blanket over the top, but there's nothing in it because they fill it with goodies when they leave. So I made sure to lift Are you the, serious? Yeah. I made sure to lift the blanket so people could see there was a baby in there. What? They'll take an empty car seat that's got the cover over top of it so nobody can see the baby. <sighs> like, that's my fear. Like, that's why people, I thought people were going to be watching me because they see this stuff every day. You're ruining the way I feel <laughs> about humanity. <laughs> I'm sorry. So anyway, you were a little hyper-focused on I was. people thinking that you might be taking something because yes. of the baby in the backpack. Yeah. Can we go back to this whole, you don't carry a purse anymore? Yeah. Okay, so I have a question. Mm -hmm. If you're not going to carry a purse anymore for now, and I'm fine with that because mm -hmm. you have... Isn't there anything we can do to simplify like your wallet then for you? Oh, probably. He's gurgling. Like maybe get you um, one of those like wallet keychains that I have? No, I don't. I don't. You don't want no. one of those? Mm -mm. So you need like a... I like my big wallet. Oh my goodness, carry. I know, but there's like, what if you did lose it? There's a lot of stuff in there. There is, but... I mean, if you're so worried about losing if it... If I keep it in a bag, What if I'll I bought fine. you a new one? Because I did buy you that big one. Oh, no, I don't need a new wallet. I'm okay. Okay. I'm Thank you. Though. I appreciate it. You are welcome. I appreciate it. Did you know that his suit has little top hats on it and bows and bears and little mustaches? Look up here. Little gentleman. Yeah. Or is it gentleman? Yep, little gentleman. Oh, that reminds me. I have to tell you something. What? I was going to end this segment, but I have to tell you something now. So when I went to my mom's, I had him in fleece pajamas because we were outside. It's been cold. He, those penguin ones, the gray ones that mm -hmm. we're talking about, I love those. They're so cute. I don't know where right. they came from, but I want to know. Mm -hmm. Like, I want, I want to remember. I am not 100% certain. I just know the fleece pajamas have kept them warm outside, right? So for those of you who are new to the channel, we're in Michigan, mm -hmm. so our weather is very temperamental. It's been about so, 40 degrees and rainy this past right. couple of days. So it's, it's easier for us to keep him in like something that's comfortable but also warm. Mm -hmm. He's not a huge fan of like anything bulky. So wherever these pajamas are from, they're fleece, but they're like... I don't want to say they're thin, but you know what I mean? They're They're... They're not like a bulky fleece. Right. They're, so it's a, they really work for him. It's not, it's a mid-sized, yeah. mid-range yeah. fleece, I'd say. Anyways. I feel like this should be pointed on you because you're telling the story. Well, I mean, you can if you want to. Okay. So we get to my mom's house and he's sure. wearing these fleece pajamas. And my mom's house is a little warm, believe mm -hmm. it or not. Normally I think it's cold in there, but it was warm. So I take his pajamas off and I had a onesie on him underneath it. And I had a pair of pants in the diaper bag. So I put the pants on him, and they're like 
shorts on him. They like go right below his knees. That pretty much solidified for me that I need to put his zero to three month clothes away yeah. and pull out the three to six. Cause I think I mentioned before, maybe I haven't done it on the camera, but I know that I mentioned to you that I was going to do it. But I've kind of been putting it off because I'm like, no, that means he's getting, he's growing up, he's getting so big. I really like the clothes he has. And his pajamas, like, they fit him so nicely. But he grows another inch and they're really not, they're going to be too snug. Some of his pajama arms are too short too. So seeing those zero to three month pants on him just, it's pushing me to take out his zero to three month clothes and put in his three to six. But I want to remind you mm -hmm. that we are going to be able to donate so much to other families. I know. I know. I'm, I'm just hoping that it gives you a little bit of, like alleviates a little bit of what you're feeling. Because it's sad that he's growing up. And he's, uh -huh. don't make me cry because I can see your eyes glistening. <laughs> don't. It's sad that he's growing up. But we're going to be able to like help another little baby. Mm -hmm. And that's kind of what gets me through it. Will you... Also, I gotta circle back to something you said. Okay. You said your mom's house is always warm? No, I think it's always cold. Yeah, exactly. It's always warm in there. It's burning up in there. I walk in there and I about pass out right when I walk through the door. I'm well, trying to not cry anymore, so I'm getting, getting like, tough about it. Okay. Mary, your house is hot for me all the time. Makes me feel like I'm in a sauna. <laughs> a sauna? A sauna. <laughs> salmon? <laughs> I'm in a salmon. I love you, baby boy. He's just laying here and he's so peaceful. He's gonna sleep a long time too because he had a bath. I just want, I want him to always know that everything that we do is for him. I do owe you. No, I mean like we're gonna make decisions and they're not gonna always be the best. We're gonna mess up sometimes. Mm -hmm. But I hope he knows that we've always had the best intentions. I think that he'll know that. And I gotta tell you, looking at him being so peaceful has never made this mama bear inside of me realize how much I would... what I would do to protect him. Mm-hmm. You know? It's a lot. Like, I have so much love right now for him, but I also have so much, like... I feel it. I can feel, like, if somebody said something about my son or said something about the way we raised him. Mm -hmm. I get it. I get that mama bear thing. I get it. Yeah. Like, I understand now. I would do anything for this little guy outside of, you know, not breaking the law. You'd go to the ends of the earth for him. Yeah. So, with that being said, little man, I guess we should end this vlog out. Okay. We want everybody to look at your beautiful face. Look at our little family. Mm, they're so cute. Thank you so much, guys, for being a part of this. We really appreciate it. Yeah, and thank you for sharing us with your friends. And we'll catch you on the flippity. Oh. He's waving. <laughs> da -na 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 -na. <sighs> this little arm is so limp. Yeah, he's really sleeping. Don't forget to follow us on all of our social media pages, especially the tweeters. <laughs> 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 perfect. Oh my god. <laughs>